What is up, everybody? Tubaverse TV here today. We're going to talk about this article from PlayStation Blog where they talk about the top selling games in 2024 for the US and in Europe as well. And apparently, the number one game, the best selling game on PlayStation stores, is Sea of Thieves, which is kind of crazy. You know, this was a game that was hated by many Sony fans. When it was only on Xbox, they trashed this game to no end. <laughs> this game was terrible. They said a lot of terrible things about this game. But now that it's one of the best selling games on PlayStation, it's kind of crazy that these guys secretly wanted this game from the get go. I mean, they have greatly improved this game because I remember people were talking about how the cracking, the cracking was barely uh, a, a visible model, like the model. It was complaining about how the how the, the monster looks, but now I guess as this game got so many improvements since its inception, people are on board with this on PlayStation. Kind of crazy. And I think there's a list of the top games for both the U.S. and Europe, U.S., Canada, and Europe. Sea of Thieves, Call of Duty. Uh, Fallout 4. A lot of Microsoft properties in this top 10. In this top, what is it? Top list right here. Um, obviously, there's a lot of like Madden, Grand Theft Auto, NBA 2K, a lot of uh, casual stuff. Who's your daddy? I don't know what that is, but apparently they're loving that game over there. I don't even know what that game is. I don't even want to search that game because I don't know what's going to pop up. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. The, this is the top stuff over there. Sea of Thieves is number one. They prefer Sea of Thieves more than Hell Divers 2, which is a PlayStation exclusive, which is kind of crazy. It's just wild. These PlayStation gamers really love they really love Xbox games. They really love the Xbox games over there on PlayStation. So people want to say this is a bad move for Microsoft, but honestly not. If it's paying off like this in dividends, like their top selling game is an Xbox game, so I don't blame Microsoft for putting it on there. It's like they know it's going to do this, going to do this much to get this many sales. And hey, I would do the same thing too. So uh, it's just fascinating how the people who had the most to say about this game are the ones playing this game. So yeah. it just lets you know the internet is not a real place. Like so many people who be complaining about Xbox games, they are the biggest hypocrites and to be dying that want to play these games. It's like they. Uh, just they can, just can't buy an Xbox to play on. They just gotta be on there now. Hey, these Xbox games suck. But in secretly in private, when these games come to your system, you're the first ones to play it. So, anyways, now that turns out. Uh, turns out Sony fans buy PS5s to play multiplats. Yeah, the average person who's talking about a PS5 was buying a multiplat. That is nothing new. You can look at this list, and most of these games are just multiplats. Not even PlayStation exclusives. Like you got Hell Divers Two. And Stellar Blade is only PlayStation exclusive. Other than that, it's just like all multiplayer games. Like people literally buy PlayStations to play Grand Theft Auto and Madden. <laughs> so people are buying uh, PlayStations to play Madden and uh, ML and buy uh, play a Madden Grand Theft Auto. And they play the most multiplayer games you buy on either, either platform. So. So Astro Bot and those different PlayStation exclusives are not going to sell the PS5s. I wouldn't be surprised if GTA 6 is the the biggest reason why a lot of PS5s even sell next, uh, when it comes out. It's not going to be a PlayStation exclusive to get people to get on board the system. It's going to be a multi -plat, So I thought they hated Xbox games. Yeah, that was a lie. The Lord, the, <laughs> the lie to turn, lie to test term, that was a lie. They love Xbox games. Turns out people really do love Xbox games. Yeah, they do. Now they want the whole slate. <laughs> like, if you really just wanted the whole slate of Xbox games, why not just buy an Xbox at that point? Like, why are you praying and hoping that these games go to PlayStation? That's most likely most of the games won't go to PlayStation. So it'll be a select few, but they just can't buy an Xbox. It's not debatable at this point. Microsoft wants to put Gears, Fable, and the rest on PlayStation. Embrace it. It's going to happen. Why would they put Gears or Fable on PlayStation? Why would they do that? And it's like, each time these people keep saying a whole slate, that pretty much just sounds to me like, hey, please, Microsoft, put your games on PlayStation. It just sounds like begging at the end of the day. Like, you're just poor begging for these exclusives.
But I was told Xbox has no games. Yeah. They say Xbox has no games, but they desperately want the Xbox games. Make it make sense. Could you imagine what Halo and Gears would do? Not to mention Forza Horizon 5, OM, OMFG, PlayStation would fund Xbox games for years. Desperately want those Xbox games on our PlayStation. And it's like, if, if they do start putting more games on PlayStation, it's like, I don't think it's going to be the big stuff. I think this is trend is going to say, hey, we are going to put more stuff on PlayStation, but it's not going to be the stuff that you got, that these Sony guys want. They want, like, literally all their big AAA games from Xbox on PlayStation. That's not going to happen. I think it's going to be a selective case-by-case basis how they've been doing. These games have been out for a long time. I think that's my, what be, that's my, what is going to continue to happen, so... Wow, so the whole time the PlayStation fanboys are labeled this game trash for secretly mega fans. <laughs> well, then again, I'm not surprised that so many bad actors have infiltrated the platform. This is insane considering when you look at everything else released on the platform. Yeah, Microsoft definitely looking at these numbers and fist bumping. Yeah, they're probably really happy about these numbers. I was like... Probably you can see we're gonna put more to the PlayStation, but PlayStation guys they're gonna get the whole slate of Xbox games is just delusional. That's one delusional thing. You gotta tell yourself that hey, we're gonna get all Xbox games. You're not gonna get all Xbox games. You may get more, sure, but you're not getting all of them. Xbox is definitely going for a third party. <laughs> this is so pathetic. They really want Xbox to go third party, so they don't have to buy an Xbox. But they will hate on Xbox games, but secretly want to play their games. Damn, PlayStation fan base is more interested in this than Helldivers 2. Yeah, they said screw Helldivers 2. Let's play Sea of Thieves. Xbox got no games until it comes to PlayStation. Yeah, a lot of these guys are just hypocrites. I was like, it's, it's obvious this day these guys are hypocrites. Turns out the whole time, PlayStation loves Xbox games, despite what a few zealous online say, the mostly casual PlayStation player base just needs a taste of greatness and they respond accordingly. Wait, didn't PlayStation players mock, ridicule, and dismiss you of these for years? Yes, that crowd did do that. <laughs> so it's shocking to see that, hey, they are the number one players of this game, which is crazy. I definitely remember a time when they were trashing that game. Which is not bad because this is a multiplayer game. Multiplayer games do need um, a bigger audience to stay thriving. So, uh, and as uh, I do own, all, I do own all the consoles. So I don't really care anyway, to be honest. If this, they put more multiplayer games on PlayStation, so I don't really care. But it's just very telling. Now, the people who complain about this the most were the first ones to play this game. I can't really block one more choice. So, I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Do you think Sony fans are hypocrites? Or do you think it's just the, the vocal people on Twitter saying they, they, they who are trash to get these who really want to play it? What are your thoughts about this situation right here? Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. And peace.